Here we are, just opened up Rhino, and we're going to take a look around, kind of see what we see. Along the top, there's a number of different pull-down menus. Now, if you've ever used a computer program before, these are going to be very similar. There's a number of different tools, which you see here, that you can have access to. There's a couple of ways to get to them, and a number of different actions and menus that you can pull up. Coming up next, in a lot of different CAD programs, there is a command line where you can type in commands to pull up different tools or type in coordinates, uh, do a number of different things. We'll explore that in detail. There's different viewports here in Rhino. So here's the top, the front, the right, and perspective of our model. You'll see how those work coming up. Uh, if you've done any drafting, this will be very similar and a very uh, comfortable interface for you. Over on the left here, we have a number of different tools. Now there's about a bazillion tools inside of Rhino, uh, a number of them that you can access. If you click and hold down, you can create a pop-out or a fly-out that you can move around as well and quickly access. So here's a number of different ways to make a rectangle. Down uh, below here is the status bar right along the bottom. Now, as you watch, I move around the screen. The X and Y coordinates change. Uh, they just kind of keep track of where you're at, a position. Uh, a number of other ones we'll talk about when we get down there, but that's the status bar. And then each of these windows that we looked at a little bit earlier inside of here, they're really graphics areas. And once we put a model, load one up in here, you'll really see how these work and interact. And you can zip in and out of them. Uh, for example, if we just wanted to look at the top view, you double click and you're just looking at the top view or back and you have the entire perspective. So that's just kind of a quick overview of the interface.